sixth station, St. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. As Jesus proceeds on the way, covered with the sweat of death, a woman, moved with compassion, makes her way through the crowd and wipes his face with a handkerchief. As a reward of her piety, the impression of his sacred countenance is miraculously imprinted upon the handkerchief. Few of our Lord's sufferings on his toilsome journey to Calvary have produced more beautiful thoughts from this brief yet empowering episode. This is because we witness, observe and capture a mere glimpse of pure compassion and act of divine charity. Who is Veronica and what does her act of charity mean? Veronica is one of the best known of all the saints, but it seems almost certain that she is a legend who surfaces out of a natural desire of all, to know and take hold of the image of Jesus. We all possess our image of Jesus, but imagine an actual image of him, both expressing his true humanity, but also historical proof. Veronica's moment then, not founded in Holy Scripture, becomes for the church an embodiment of the fruits of Christ's passion, because of her compassion, that is, her suffering with. Therefore, a natural desire renders the actual occurrence of a woman bearing this name Veronica supposedly stemming from two possibilities, the Latin for true vera and the Greek for image icon, or a Western version of the Greek name Berenike, meaning victory bearer. As not our main focus in unearthing why this tradition is still kept and passed on amongst the faithful. Rather, the account of Veronica reminds us that Christ's image is pressed into every act of Christian charity that occurs in the world. Every act of charity subsequent to the crucifixion is a partaking in the divine act of perfect charity that took place on the cross. Veronica's action, ironically, is a small icon for us, pointing towards our source of true compassion, sacrifice and mercy, and at the same time encourages us to do the same for the world. From this, the suffering servant, the quiet lamb, accomplishes a conquering of all in the ultimate act of charity itself. From Veronica, let us see the suffering in the world and let the perfect compassion of which Jesus sees and gives to humanity allow us to respond with an unquenchable hope, an irresistible courage and conviction in helping those who continue to suffer. God continues to give the world images of people who encounter this deep sense of Christian compassion. Blessed Teresa of Calcutta's life reminds the church in its current age the need to see and respond to the sufferings in the other and in turn receive the most perfect image of Jesus' love, the imitation of his charity to the poor. She does so like Veronica, risking her life because she sees Jesus in the eyes of those she is compassionately drawn to help. Mother Teresa once writes in a letter to a friend in regard to someone she is caring for. Lent is nearly over. I am praying for Namala. Jesus will take care of her because she loves him in his distressing disguise of his poor. I pray my Lenten prayer. Make me feel what thou hast felt. Make me share with thee thy pain. Throughout Lent and throughout her whole life, Mother Teresa prays these words. Make me feel what thou hast felt. Make me share with thee thy pain. These words taken from the Stabat Mater, these were the words that link each station for us today, shows us the deepness of which compassion needs to go. It also shows us another woman whom we must pray for in this manner, as she too was touched with the deepest compassion towards our suffering Lord, that of Mary, his mother. So we have three images of virtue in St. Veronica, Blessed Teresa, and Mary, the mother of God, whom we all should try to imitate in response to the suffering world we live. All three understand completely that acts of charity cannot be accomplished without him who acted for us. For Jesus performs the perfect act of charity in response to our sin. 
his passion. The image of the suffering Lord is most present in those who suffer. So let us turn towards those who suffer, and in doing so this Lent, we will turn towards him who is perfect love. O Jesus, may the contemplation of thy sufferings make us with deepest compassion, make us to haste our sins and kindle in our hearts more fervent love to thee. May our image be graven on our minds until we are transformed into thy likeness. <laughs>